Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Gus. I'm a cosmetic and implant dentist based mainly in and around London in the UK. And today we're gonna to talk about removing dental implants. Okay, so this is actually getting more and more common because implants are being placed much more often and they've been being placed for you know tens of years. And sometimes implants get problems and we have to remove them. So can they be removed? The answer is yes, but it's never as simple as that, okay? So in this video, we're gonna look at which implants can be removed and how they can be removed, how we can remove them in the best way, and what to do once that implant has been removed. So if you wanna really simplify what an implant is or what the vast majority of implants are like, it's like a screw. Okay, some people even call them screw in teeth. So the cool thing about a screw is if you just unscrew it, it comes out. Okay, and dental implants, in a lot of cases, can just be unscrewed. Now the difference is, when we put an implant in, the bone around the implant grows into that implant. It grows really tight into that implant. And we call this process osseointegration. And we want this to happen because we want that solid lock in there of the bone and the implant so that the tooth you have placed on the implant or the teeth you have on the implant work as best as they can. Now, this creates a problem because if we want to unscrew this implant, we have to put a lot of force on this implant. And sometimes it unscrews, sometimes it doesn't, okay? If you've got very weak bone, there's possibilities that the bone may break or crack while you're doing this, so we have to be careful. So before we go into how to remove an implant, different implant styles, let's look at the two main reasons why you may want to have an implant removed. And the first one is that if you've got infection, okay? So gum infection, uh, gum disease around implants is very difficult to treat and quite often it may be easier just to remove the implant. Now, if we've got this implant and it's fully osseointegrated into the bone and we've lost bone around the implant, what you end up is a situation where you don't have that much bone around the implant. And it's possible that if you just unscrew it, it comes out. But we have to pay attention to the type of implant which you have. So some implants, at the tip of the implant, they've got a hole going all the way through the implant. And what can happen here is that bone grows into that hole. Again, it's creating a lot of resistance to being able to, to remove that implant by just unscrewing it. Okay, By having this kind of shape to the implant, uh, which doesn't just rotate out, it makes it almost impossible to, to kind of break the bone in that way and reverse this implant out. Also, some implants like this one, um, where we've lost all the gum around the front of this implant, this has like a disc shape. So if you were to look underneath the, the, the bone on this one or take an x-ray and you could be able to see, you'll see that it's got a, a spine down the middle and then it's got all these discs all the way to the tip. And what happens here is all the, the bone grows in between these discs. This implant, even if you rotated it, because it's not screwed in, this implant's actually hammered in, right? I know it sounds pretty barbaric, but because of the way that the implant is, it makes it almost impossible to remove this implant. In fact, if you wanted to remove it, you would have to lift the gum up, drill away all of the bone in between these little fins, and then remove the implant, okay? And later in this video, I'm gonna talk about what you, what you can do to fix the situation once the implant's gone. But just imagine how much, how destructive this is. You're gonna lose a lot of bone around the implant. You're gonna end up with an area where there's hardly any bone at all. So then we're go we've got a much bigger problem um, to rebuild the smile after an implant like this has been removed. Okay, so what do you do if you can't remove the implant? So in situations like this, where you've got an implant which is impossible to just unscrew out, we, we can either do what I've just said and drill in between the threads, but sometimes it, the implant design is different. So there are things called trefine burrs, which are essentially drills with a hollow bit inside. And they come in all different sizes. And what you do is you, you drill basically where the implant is, and this drill encapsulates the, the implant, letting you remove the whole thing. 
the big downside to this is that when you do something like this, you're going to lose another half a millimeter of bone all the way around the, the implant. Okay, maybe a bit less, but you know, typically half a, half a millimeter of bone all the way around. So you've got maybe a four millimeter implant, you've lost half a millimeter of bone each side, so you've got a five millimeter hole in the bone. Five millimeters doesn't sound like a lot, but in dental terms, that's massive. Uh, especially if you're looking at the thickness of bone, because typically the width of the bone is okay, but the thickness is, is lacking. So you end up with what's called a bony defect. And in all the situations where we take implants out, I typically let the area heal first and then come back to it in three, four months because you can just treat that hole in the bone like you had just removed a tooth. It will just heal by itself. You've got no foreign objects. And in three months, you know exactly where you are. You can take CT scans. You can see how much bone has been lost. And then it's typically a situation where we need to consider bone grafting to rebuild the bone. And then once the bone graft is healed, we can place a new implant. Okay. And if you're, if you're having this done, you know, again, I would use something like um, guided surgery to make sure that the new implant placement is exactly right. I've done a video on guided surgery in the past. You can click through to it to, to find out more about that. So in short, it is possible to remove dental implants and sometimes this is the best way to do it. If you can reverse an implant out, then you're gonna end up with a much neater um, hole in the bone, okay? And the smaller the hole in the bone, the easier it is to bone graft and, and rebuild the bone and have another go essentially. Uh, if you're unfortunate enough to have one of the old style implants which wasn't really designed to be removed once it was placed, then it's still possible to remove the implant but it's much more involved. It's a much more complicated process, not only to remove the implant but to rebuild the, the lost bone so you can have a new implant in there. So as always, I hope you found this useful. If you did, consider subscribing. And if you've got questions, comments, leave them in the comments below. And I do read everyone's. I might not be able to react to or, or reply to everyone's. Okay, so until next time, take care.